here with Justin at the CTV Upfront 2016. All right, so many questions to ask you about okay. Training Day. Okay. But I want to start with this. Why are TV series doing all these, like, movie adaptations? You know, we have MacGyver, Limitless, now Training Day. Like, can't TV just get their own ideas? I feel like it's a little accessible. You know I mean? I feel like it, uh, it introduces a, a property to people. It's something that they know they can get into. And, you know, there's a lot of TV shows now, Netflix and Hulu and Amazon, and everybody really has their own thing. You can you can make your own web series. you got to compete with YouTube now. You know what I mean? So it's almost like how do we get people to, to come back and say, hey, look, this is something you already love, and, and we're not, you know, trying trying to do a reboot and I know a lot of the other adaptations are adaptations you know the reboots but this is actually a continuation of the, of the story and, and let me ask you about that like obviously a lot of people saw training day the movie is there a pressure that comes with that is it kind of like oh my gosh you know we got to pull you know like I gotta I gotta like make people forget about Denzel you know oh, yeah you know I think you gotta ask Bill Paxton that right. one because yes. he's because yes. you know every interview he's always like well I'm not Denzel I'm not doing Denzel right. you know and all the pressure's on Denzel I'm the I'm Ethan Hawke's character, you know. But, but, but there's a pressure with that, there's too. definitely a pressure with the name and, you know, uh, and for everybody involved. But the thing about it is that we're actually doing this through the people who brought the original Training Day um, uh, to the fold. So it's actually, you know, they really care about the property. You know, they're not here to just do a reboot and, you know, for a money grab. They're really here because they love it and they really love their, their baby. I think that uh, obviously the dynamic between you and Bill is going to be the heart and the soul of this show. Um, is it something that you sort of had to build? Like, did you sort of have to like just go on like a joyride with him so that when you're in like the cop car, you kind of like know how it is and you know what he's going to say? Like, how did that chemistry come about? <laughs> That's the thing. Me and Bill didn't meet until the table read. And the chemistry was almost instantaneous. We, we, you know, we're both, I'm from Louisville, Kentucky originally, and he's from Texas. And I just feel like we had that southern kind of laid backness to us and and we just we automatically got each other we automatically understood each other's perspective and uh in the first scene that we shot was the scene where we're riding in the car and he's just like oh you don't know me and i don't know you and this is your training day and and, and it kind of was how i felt you know actually going into that scene because it was the first scene i hadn't met bill yet and um it's it was just kind of crazy so it was it was um you know it's it's been great and that chemistry with me and bill has been fantastic i feel like that's why the show is going to work so well and what is bill like sort of off camera Oh, he's just he's he's just the most laid back guy. You can go have a drink with him or you can go hang out with him. He's like, hey, come over and barbecue and get some ribs. You know, like he's just the guy who you want. He's like your uncle, you know. Um, let's talk a little bit more about the show. Like, I understand that sort of, you know, I'm not going to say good guy and bad guy, but I feel like you're definitely the one who sort of like wears the white cowboy hat in this relationship. Um, and then we find out that, you know, Bill's character worked with your father, you know, yeah. your character's father. Um, tell me more about how that's going to play out. You know, I feel like what ends up happening here is that I am being lied to in so many different ways by the by the police chief and why she even put me in that position in the first place. If she... You know who? What do they know about my father's murder? Do they do they know? I mean, what the, what does Bill know? Maybe he's been trying to. Maybe he's been outside of the, uh, doing outside of the kind of outside of his realm here, so that he can, he's investigating them. You know, maybe you know. There's a lot that that goes down here, and I don't have, you know, all the answers. Obviously, uh, I haven't been made privy to the uh, upcoming scripts, but I know that uh, there. You know, uh, Marianne Baptiste, who plays the police chief, I feel like she she definitely, and she's a serious relationship. I definitely a big character for this. Uh, as an antagonist. Um, let's talk a little bit about uh, the pressure with playing a series lead. You know, like, I f this is your first, like, I feel like your first lead yeah, role. First lead. Like, are you number one on the call sheet, I feel like, well, or number no, two? Well, I'm Bill, okay, two. Bill, okay, well, that's not bad. Bill's <laughs> number one, okay? Like, I, I you know, um, that's like sort of being like Kobe and Michael Jordan's number one, you know? Yeah, you know um, but, but tell me about that. Like, is there a pressure? Like, do you sort of feel like, you know, it's on me? Like, I got to make this show succeed. You know, I mean, I definitely feel like um, I have a partner in, in that uh, in that kind of aspect. But I also know that it's on me to also bring great energy to the set every day and get everybody to feel like I feel and as confident as I feel about how what the work that we're doing. Uh, I mean, there's definitely a pressure to, you know, to succeed. But with me and Bill, we all we're always kind of each other's sound sounding boards. We, we help each other when we're having um, uh, any kind of issues and you know we're there for each other so I feel like if we can keep that uh, that dynamic of family then we'll always we'll always be pushing forward why do you think people are still into police procedurals like why is that whole thing still compelling to audiences after you know it's just like it's almost like the medical drama you know there's certain formats that always work why does the police procedural always work I mean I tell you what I love law and order I can just sit down if it's on I'm just watching it you know I'm just like oh man I feel like it's because it gives you a little bit of everything that you want 
Um, our show, I feel like, is procedural, but it has um, it has a very heavy serialized undertone to it. So it's it's not, you know, there's a lot of story with my father, and you know, it's uh, it's not. Uh, you know, we went we went to five different people asking questions. On the third guy was actually the guy that we were supposed to get, and then now we got him back at the end of the episode. You know, <laughs> as a procedural would you would go, but I think like pro- police procedurals in general, like Law and Order or CSI, uh, even though they, they, uh, there's no more CSI, but uh, you know uh, NCIS right. um, or uh, Major Crimes or any any of those Blue Bloods or any of those kind of type procedural type shows, I feel like it's because you know what you're gonna get. You're gonna show up to the show. You're gonna get your action. You're gonna get your intrigue. You're gonna get your, you're gonna get you a little bit of this. You're gonna get a little bit of that. You're gonna get a resolution at the end of the episode. And if you don't get it at the end of this episode, it's coming in the next episode. So you know, you kind of know that you're gonna get you're gonna get your movie. You know, you're gonna get your beginning, your middle, your end. And it's it's really easy to shoot in the the way that they format. You know, they they've perfected the format. It's really equal. they can shoot them quickly. They can shoot them really easily, and and uh, and they're easy to consume. They're accessible to a lot of people. So I feel like that's why people keep coming back to the procedural format and police cop dramas. And and just two more questions for you. I want to ask you sort of just about I, I've seen the pilot, yeah. um, and you have a pretty. I, we're not going to give away anything, but you have a pretty big scene right in the first like three minutes. You know, you save somebody's life, oh, and I'm yeah. just like, oh my god! <laughs> like if he's doing this in episode one, what's he going to do in like episode nine? Where do you go from there? So can you sort of set up the series for me? You know what else can people expect if they tune in after the first episode uh, I feel like what you can expect if you tune in after the first episode is you're gonna get a lot of a lot of layered character stuff you're gonna be able to see more of uh, Katrina Law's character more of Drew Van Aker's character more about my wife and they all have rich backstories and so you're gonna get a lot more deeper into the character stuff you're gonna get deeper into what who Bill is and uh, you know of course there's a lot of action you know you got me doing a lot of action stuff uh, in the first episode it's something that really grabs you um, um, you know to, to get you in there to, to say hey look we want to tell the story and, and of course you want to see the action you're gonna get a lot more stylized action a lot more gun battles and a lot more a lot more fun you know I mean it's just just fun just you know, I, I don't know what's coming. I haven't seen the other scripts, but I just know that it's. I know it's going to be a blast. All right. Now, last question. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. So I feel like if people saw us on the street right now, they'd say, "Man, those guys are like a big crime fighting duo." You know, like I mean, you've got like the guy who looks like the Joker, and then you've got this like straight laced guy. He's like the muscle. <laughs> All right. So I'm Mertz. You're Justin. My yep. question for you is this: If we had to come up with like a Starsky and Hutch kind of like nickname for ourselves, what who would we be? Can you come up with something on your feet? You know, like just just picture the poster. Um, okay. Wait. I'll get in my poster mode too. Um. The f- fashionable crime fighters. I like it. Okay. I, I actually, I had one too, though. Yeah, uh, okay. I mean, I, I, yeah, I had, I had some time to prep, though. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Mertz, Justin, are you ready? Mm-hmm. Muju. Ooh. Muju. Yeah. You're, you're telling me that doesn't strike fear in the hearts of bad guys everywhere? We're coming to get you. It's Muju. Muju. I like it. Are, are we going to go with that? Are you down? I'm, I'm down with Muju. Okay, perfect. I like it.